This is a donation page that's set up and hosted by the JotForm software. So if you're a nonprofit or an organization that uses donation forms, this video is gonna show you how to set this up in a payment system that is part of our implementation services. So let's take a look. So this is what the page looks like, and I'll go over features and functionality in just a second, but just know this is a very highly customizable form builder that allows you to add any sort of question that you could possibly think of asking to somebody who would fill out a donation page. Obviously, you're gonna collect name, address, email, all of the necessary information so that you have that info about your donor, but you can also ask multiple choice questions. You can ask fill in the blank questions. You can put, you know, images, you can have surveys, you can put calendar links in here. You can really customize this page to be whatever you want it to be. And then I'm also going to show you in this video how to either embed it into your website so it has your custom URL or you can utilize the hosted for you link that JotForm gives you as part of the software subscription. JotForm does have a number of payment gateway options set up in their payment module. So this one specifically is gonna utilize the card point gateway that's connected to a card point, uh, a card connect merchant account. But there are other options, but we'll focus on the card point uh, connection in this video, and that's what really drives the payment module here. So in this open pay what you can or, or pay whatever dollar amount you can, uh, leaves the field open-ended. And again, whatever dollar is typed into that box, and then the corresponding credit card information is filled into the credit card form, that's what's going to flow through the card point payment gateway and into the Card Connect merchant account, at least in this example that we're going through in this payment system. So if we just take a look at the at the page here that is uh, up on the screen, you see that uh, it's just a, a very simple and clean white background. You can customize this with different backgrounds. You could put whatever color you want and you can change the, the font size, the layout, the spacing. You can make it whatever color uh, headers you want you can change the the uh, kind of the box formation layout there's literally i think thousands of different templates that you could start with within job form to utilize this donation form but i'm just i always like to keep it simple because a lot of times the simpler designs and the simpler the system is the better it converts and really at the end of the day you just want a form a donation form in this uh, in this example to work for your nonprofit or your business. So right out of the gates, you can type, I have different fields in here just as sample, name, email, type a question right in the field box so, or in the open field so you can just put any, any question with an open-ended response. So if you're asking for their opinion on something or whatever it may be, it, it doesn't matter. Phone number. Then you have radio buttons. You can ask for the reason for the donation. You can ask if you want it to want them to keep their donation private or if it's okay if their name is published. All of that obviously specific to your organization and how you wanna publish the information and how you wanna receive these donation payments. So then you come down, again, scrolling down the page and you come to the dollar amount where I was speaking of the open-ended dollar amount. You can put a suggested amount in this form field and then you can also set a a minimum dollar amount that needs to be paid the credit card information is very straightforward so that is pre-populated just by dragging in the payment module which then connects to the card point gateway which i mentioned earlier in order to connect it to the card point gateway you do need a couple of specific pieces of information that are, are specific tokens that connect this software, which again is JotForm, to the Card Connect merchant account through CardPoint. So you have to request that. It's a very simple email or uh, by opening a ticket to get those payment credentials and those encryption keys that you plug into JotForm and then your page works. Every single donation then, again, in this example that comes through gets automatically logged and housed inside of the CardPoint reporting dashboard. So you can just pull it up, view all of your donations, the name and all of the contact information will automatically pass through into the reporting dashboard inside of CardPoint. So again, it's very easy to manage by using a page like this. Finally, you have terms and conditions and then a, uh, a CAPTCHA 
to again protect against spam and and faulty uh, you know spam bots and so forth that that might try and attack a payment page like this without actually filling out real information. So all of those you can put on there and enable or disable, but I always recommend having them on there. And then finally the submit button. As with most of the payment forms that I cover and and donation pages, you can inside of JotForm also customize the thank you page. So there's a tab in the design uh, the design tab that allows you to to go in and and customize the thank you page so you'll you'll be able to put all of the necessary information and if you want some suggestions on what exactly to put on a thank you or a confirmation page post payment so after someone submits a payment they see a, a page immediately thereafter um, check the links in the description or the the link on the screen to my confirmation page or thank you page video that shows you the top things that you should have on that are very easy to put on, but you're providing more information to the customer so that they are reinforced of their purchase and they have all the necessary information about the payment that they just made right there on the thank you page. You can set that to be a custom hosted link on your website if you'd like, if there's additional information that you want them to get or you can use the built-in hosted page that's right inside of, of JotForm. Once you have the page built, the final step is implementing and, and utilizing the page, and there's two ways that you can do it, both very simple. Number one is just to click the Publish tab, and right there at the top, you'll get a hosted link, which is 100% ready to go. That means that you can email the link out, you can text it to people, you can post it wherever you'd like as a hyperlink on your website. You can do it without your website. And like I said, just email it. But that page is 100% hosted for you by JotForm and that's part of the service. So again, don't need a website if you don't want to. With that, the second way to use it is by embedding this donation page into your website. So if you're using WordPress or any other hosted uh, or any other website building platform, as long as you can get to the code and embed a little bit of JavaScript just by clicking the embed option and, and copying that code, you paste it inside of, of WordPress and that's what you're seeing on the screen in this example, the donation page all of a sudden looks like it's hosted on your website and coded specifically to your website. But again, from a security standpoint, all of it is being hosted over on JotForm servers, so you don't need to worry about any additional encryption or anything like that that you need to do with your website. On a quick side note, it's always a good idea to have an SSL certificate if you're hosting with WordPress. A lot of the hosted platforms like SiteGround Hosting or Bluehost or, or lots of the others, they will give you an option to get an SSL certificate, so I always recommend that. But as far as the payment page, if you use the embed option, you're safe and everything is protected, especially when you're using the CardPoint API and the CardPoint gateway with this donation page. So that's the donation page hosted by JotForm connected to a Card Connect merchant account through the CardPoint payment gateway. If you have questions about this form, leave a comment below, we'll, we'll get right back to you. You can also email us or submit a question if you have a, a specific question about how your organization runs or how you might be able to use this page. And if you liked this payment system, we have plenty more just like this with different tools. Check the links in the uh, description of the video for those playlists and the links to our website that showcase some of the other software tools that we recommend and use in our implementation services. And as always, click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up because it helps these videos get found more and share it with a friend if you think that someone else might be able to use this payment system. And uh, until next time, I'm Brian Manning. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.